hey Tarek, um, nice job here. <clears throat> you know, I couldn't open your other PDF file. Um, it's just saying I need Adobe Reader or something. I use Preview, so maybe if you could save it as a different version of the PDF. It wouldn't even open in Photoshop, so that was strange. So anyway, this is looking really good. I think the blue really adds something. Um, and the use of the warm background um, also really works nicely to, um, you know, to, you know, so it's not just all cool colors. Um, the, just a couple suggestions. Um, since you've got mainly dark over to this side, you might want to think of some way to make these stand out a little bit more since, you know, it just needs some more contrast through here. You know, you could, I mean, I turned this off. I mean, not this, but I mean, see how much more it stands out with contrast. Not, I'm not saying to use this because it's really um, too bright and loses too much detail. Um, you know, you could, I'm, you could see what lowering the opacity in that layer does. Um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like your other version. Um, even that makes it stand out a little bit, but nah, I kind of, I think the darker one looks better overall because you do see some detail. This imposes a little bit of a negative space, so if this could be light, you know, be a little lighter so this, um, um, octagon could come out. Um, you know, there's other things you can do too. Let me find your, um, I like this effect actually too. Um, um, where's the guy at? Oh, there it is. Um, you know, there's other things you can do too, like create, um, you know, different layer effects like you probably already figured out. Um, so, so, for example, and I'm not saying to do this because some of it ends up looking cheesy, but with the tower select, you can go into the layer um, layer styles and maybe, you know, create an outer glow. Um, it could look cheesy. Oh, see, that's, see, you know, also what's showing is your mask. You need to clean up this mask because you've got some little fragments. That's why it's got this double line. But again, so if you check this out and just, it's going to look kind of cheesy because of the um, that double line. Um, but you can play around with some of these layer styles um, and, you know, like you can make it, um, you know, you can make it a kind of a bigger size and then you can lower the opacity so it's kind of more faint. Um, this is a bad example because of that mass. But again, that also will allow, and I'm not saying red either, I just wanted to show you this. You know, you can do strokes too, um, you know, like, I don't know. Um, but again, see how that's, and it's actually a good way to, you can look at your layer mask there. You, that needs to, needs to be cleaned up. But again, you could do something like that if you wanted to. That's kind of got, I'm going to lower the pixels. Um, you know, things like that. I'm going to cancel it. Um, I'm just wondering if your other, this one, you have so many layers. You know, good organization of the layers. Um, and actually, this is what your file should look like, all these layers. I mean, you know, the students tend to do the minimum. So, but, but this is looking really good. Um, you know, you're going to have a really nice portfolio piece. Um, so, you know, let's try it again with this one. Um, dun, dun, dun. Let's just look at that outer glow. Um, yeah, see, see how that looks? Um, let me see here. So I'm going to make it, and again, just play with this. You can make it kind of, um, you can make the size bigger, but then kind of make it look kind of, you know, a little bit fainter. And again, this can look really cheesy, so you have to really work with it. And I'm not saying to use red either. You could use, or you could use a darker red so it doesn't show so much, um, you know, something like that. And what it does is it just adds, or you can use more of an orange like down here. Um, but again, it just allows, let me say, okay, it just allows this to, this piece to stand out a little bit more. Um, and it could really look cool with your camera lens. Um, so again, those are things to really explore. Another thing that I'll be posting tutorials for as well. You know, I'd love to see a, this one a little bit better. Where is it? Um, dun, 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 dun. See, your labels are so good I can find them easily. Um, I'm just going to try levels and see if that, that can make it pop out a little bit more. Um, so... Oh no. Oh, that's right. I'm just going to look at that because I will clip it. Um, I don't know. Maybe the contrast. Mm, yeah, I don't know about that, but let's just see what it looks like clipped. Uh, let's just see. I don't know. No, see, it kind of, let's see. 
Oh, it brings it out a little bit, but then it looks kind of washed out. And you don't really want it too light because it is in the background, but maybe just something to make it stand out a little bit more so it can, you know, be look, you know, look, look like a mouse. You could also make, make this, this hand kind of go up like that, even though that could look really, really corny. Um, so, so yeah, it looks really good. Um, you know, and continue playing with the, um, you know, the text. Um, and I'm going to be showing, posting this tutorial. <clears throat> It would really help if you added a, a perspective cast shadow, and this is a—it's really easy to make, um, and it's a really good technique to have because um, for something like like this, if you have a little cast shadow, it will really ground this figure into the background a little bit more. Um, you know, another thing I thought you could do too is if you move this down and over, you could put the text up in this negative space here. So anyway, you know, the last couple of weeks are all about editing, but you have a really great project and. You know, you know, your mouse looks look pretty good. I mean, it does help to look at to see if you have those fragments like in the tower. Um, you know, I mean, it's hard to turn everything off, I know, but um, you know, I do look at all that. Well, you can see it a little bit if you really zoom in. See right there, you can see it a little bit right there. Um, because I do look at this kind of stuff in the final. <clears throat> but anyway, great job so far, and I'm looking forward to seeing um, what else you come up with.